All right, today we have an old Dell Inspiron N5010, pretty old laptop. Uh, I don't need it anymore, it barely works. What do you do with this? So I don't know, I've never really just thrown out computers before, because you want to remove the data. You want to remove any semblance. I just sat on something wet. Why did I do that? All right, anyway, any semblance of your disk drive and storage. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to try and find if this try to I'm going to try to get to this disk drive and just pull out the disk drive and then this thing's toast right first thing I'm just going to start stripping it apart the old battery put the sliders out look at that there's the old battery what is it rechargeable lithium ion baby if these ever get wet especially salt water get them out of your house dispose of them somewhere fire department waste management because they will catch on fire thermal runaway any lithium-ion battery gets submerged especially in salt water e-bike batteries especially get them away from the house all right public service announcement all right that goes into my lithium-ion battery stack which i just missed over there all right i already took some screws out i went through took out the took out the base screws uh this is the plate rear plate screw to the memory sorry loosen that Phillip little baby Phillips right there here's the old memory I don't know if it's worth anything it's old but there's the old memory it's kind of fun if you ever want to learn about computers just get an old laptop that's uh, pretty much out of date uh, yep and then here these just pop in with these little clips it's like changing the brakes on a car right little clips so here's the memory sticks now I think I got all the little screws out, but you never know. Oh, there's one, missed one. Missed one screw right there, let's try that one. Oh, this thing is not even, you can't even give this away, it's just too slow, you can't even run today's browser on it, it's just, it's non-performant. It's had its day, it's probably like 10 years old. Um, <laughs> now how do you get this thing up? Oh my lord, it's, it, nothing is ever easy. Nothing is ever easy. More screws fall out. Little baby Loctite on them. There's that. La -da 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 -da. Oh, there's one. Missed another one. Always check each hole. I know, that's what she said. All right, let's go. That joke never gets old. Is that another one? Holy crap. Do, do, do. There's another one. One, two. Another one. Done. Done. So one there. Oh, there's one in the old memory bay too. Look at that. They tucked it right in there. How many screws do you need to hold a computer together? My lord. Is there some kind of structural mechanical engineering equation on mount points and stuff all right i think it looks good but now the question is how does this cover come off if it comes off that's all this stuff hold on sometimes they bury these little screws i don't know sometimes they put the screws behind these rubber things no they did they put screws behind the little rubber damn it oh do 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 sure is there an easier way to do this i don't care <laughs> sometimes you just got to do stuff do, 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 do. the neighbor sprinklers are coming on we've had nothing but rain you think they put the water sensitive sensor on their system to save water but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you guys see this i'm just getting these little rubbies out these little nubbies not as easy need someone with fingernails i need someone with fingernails Yeah! 
memory had one last use for it. All right, uh, let's see. <coughs> There's one over here. Man, can I get that screw? I was so happy with taking out the rubber grommet, the nubby pad that I forgot to take the little screw out. Oh God, there better not be one under here. I will scream. All right, let's rotate. We got good, we're looking good. Looking good. Look at that, came right off. Another screw. Another screw. screw with airborne blah 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 I don't see any little Phillips there I know I got one more little grommy right here can you guys see that I'm not doing this too well here let's move oh look at that sometimes you call that a Jesus thing it's gonna you go boom and you go oh Jesus where'd it go and you gotta find him I found something interesting today I was watching a guy who does airplane, small general aviation airplane. He's a mechanic and a pilot, very popular pilot on YouTube, jets and stuff, golf streams. Gee, he's just, he's out there flying the celebrities around. Anyway, he works on small planes too, cause he's certified. And he said, if you drop a screw in the engine bay and you're working on it like this, you have to stop. The plane will not be certified if you do not account for all dropped washers and screws. Cause it could get in behind some linkage throttle landing gear and wedge it so it doesn't come down it's a safety issue so i did not know that so you have to stop no matter how long it takes you got to find the drop screw the drop washer do 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 what is that okay there's no there's no, there's no resistor on this thing is there capacitor i mean nope just touch it. All right. This thing's been unplugged for years. Every screw I see, I'm just taking out. And if you if you ever want to put a computer back together, always take a photo or record yourself as you do it, and then you will be good to go. Hopefully, you'll be able to put it back together. <laughs> yeah, most likely not. Oh, my God. Dude, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. Hmm. Look, CD tray came out. Is there any screws behind it? Now that CD, that CD tray takes a lot of real estate up. Look at that thing. Or is that the drive? Oh, this is the drive. Oh, wait a minute. Am I that stupid? Yes, I know. I know I am. Oh, it's a DVD player. This is wild. HL Data Store DVD Rewriter. Wow. All right. I was hoping it'd be the drive. Shoot, that would make my life so much easier. Plug and play. All righty. We got that out. We got that out. There's the old for the old chipper, the old, what do you call those little freaking mini drives you put in? This one's a normal drive. Huh, that's just a template. That's just a template. La da da. There it is. There's the Dell. It was a nice computer. I used it, God, yeah, it's over 10 years old. <laughs> there better not be screws underneath these pads. I'll tell you the Mac is, oh there we go, the Mac is so much easier to get apart. MacBook, but MacBooks are junk, pure junk. They're so fragile. You even look at it wrong, you crack it. 
I don't know. They're obviously designed on purpose that way. Oh, I got something holding. Something's holding over here. I'm getting somewhere. You know what? I had a freaking... what I do with it? Stand by. I had a great little tool for this. All right. All right. All right. Let's try this. I see some, I did disconnect that. Well, there's the drive. I want the drive so bad. And I just can't get this USB. It's out here. It's, it's hanging up. It's hanging up on this USB side. Look at this. There's nothing. There is something holding that right there. Why is that? I'm an idiot. I know there's an easier way to do this, but who cares? Yeah, I want this drive out. <laughs> screwed in here there we go come on that's all I want this is the drive I want out that's all I know there's an easier way to get this off without beating the hell out of it but I just this thing is sold it's got to go I don't know where to put it no one takes this crap maybe they'll get the silver out of it I'll put it in my computer donation pile, along with my other electronics. So you can always go in, if the computer worked, it kind of did, but I don't really care. You go in and you can just erase the drive, but just to be safe, take the drive out and then you have it, just keep it. That way no one has your data, you don't have to worry about it. I don't trust anybody, because is anything ever really erased from a drive? No. All right. <laughs> there was my fun Saturday ripping apart an old Dell laptop sometimes it's fun just to mess around like this all right I'm out like I said I'm gonna keep this this goes into the computer recycling bin now without me worrying about people getting whatever is on this precious drive uh, you just never know what you have out there tax returns stuff like that uh, for an old computer you're just never you can never be too oh look at this you can never be too safe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Hope you had fun with this. All for fun. Take care. I'll talk to you later. The duck helped. And this, this little thing helped. And uh, if I was to repair this, I mean, if I was just really going to replace the drive in it, of course, I would have done it a lot more, a lot more gentle and read, read the manual instead of just beating the hell out of it with force. But sometimes that's fun, too. All right. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Boom.